Let's talk a little bit more about A.G. Garland's testimony today and bring in former New York City mayor and former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani joins us today on Newsline. Great to see you, Mayor. And I know that you have been watching Garland there. It's, you know, in his opening statements, he basically came out and said he is not the president's lawyer. He will not be intimidated. That was kind of a bold way to start. How do you think this hearing is going so far and the questioning at the heart of it, at least the Republicans are trying to get some more detail on David Weiss's appointment. Well, I, I worked for two great attorneys general as the chief of staff to the deputy attorney general when Edward Levy was attorney general. And I was the third ranking official to William French Smith under President Reagan. So I, I spent 17 years in the Justice Department, probably know it as well or better than, than anyone. This is a disgraceful performance, and this man has completely dishonored the Justice Department. You would have to be stupid not to realize what he's been doing. Uh, first of all, uh, he said under oath that, uh, that, they, that he had given the power to whatever he called them at that time. Uh, he, had given, he had given the power to the Delaware U.S. attorney to indict anywhere. Now, that's a lie, because the Delaware U.S. attorney tried to indict in uh, Los Angeles and in the District of Columbia and couldn't. And we, and we don't, honestly, to be, to be uh, 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 really clear about it, we don't know who's lying. But one of them is. And then it's very, very of course, strange. Really because, yeah. One of the things he said is in the way he kind of deflects, he said, oh, it's difficult for not any attorney not to know another attorney when they were questioning, how did Bo Biden have a relationship with David Weiss? And, you know, we also know that Judge Tukon, while she was a, an attorney, also was at a firm with Hunter Biden. I mean, there's so much uh, integration here, and he's trying to brush it off like attorneys just know everybody. Uh, people aren't really going to buy that, and you yourself, I know, are not as well. Well, I know, but what he has is he has the bar associations and uh, all the professional associations under his thumb. They're all part of the Biden regime. I mean, he's committing ethical violations that would have another attorney general impeached. For example, the rule in selecting an outside counsel is that he not be connected with the Justice Department, which means he can't select a U.S. attorney. He violated that right out of the box so he could get a guy that he can control. And the problem was, I mean, from the very beginning, Weiss could have indicted in Delaware. He eventually did. So why all the shenanigans about going to California, going to, going to the District of Columbia? And why wouldn't those U.S. attorneys who are Biden flunkies, why wouldn't they indict? I mean, you've got so much Mayor, speaking here. of that indictment that took years, as you just well right. noted, speaking of that indictment, it was just on the gun charges. We've learned today that Hunter Biden will be entering a not guilty plea, and he wants to do it remote because he wants to save money on the travel from California to Delaware. Of course he does, and also the cameras and the media, some hopefully that would cover it. And, you know, there's still no discussion about whether Weiss will bring the other charges that many say are, e are very easy to bring. Foreign agents, you know, registering, he failed to do that. Possibly the Mann Act as well. I mean, Weiss definitely a special counsel now can do pretty much uh, whatever he wants. Uh, he can, but, I mean, he clearly is in Biden's pocket. I mean, the guy was tied up 20 years ago with the Bidens and the other Democrats. And the idea, and then, then they play this, he was an appointee of President Trump. I, I uh, was involved in appointing 92 United States attorneys in 1981. We did them all in one year. I know how they get appointed. They get appointed by senators, not the president. Very rarely is the president the chief. This guy is the product of three Democratic senators. And that's who he owes his living yeah, to. Yeah, the left. And by the way, it's he, the left he talking point. He's disgraced the role of the U.S. attorney, Weiss has. Uh, I held that office. It probably was the office I may have been the most proud of. And he has, he has made, he, he, he has dishonored it. And uh, the president attorney general could be the worst in history. Mayor, uh, I have about 30 seconds left, but because our viewers are following it so closely, how is uh, things going in Fulton County? Where does your case stand today, sir? Well, my case, of course, is, is, is idiotic. I'm indicted for representing Donald Trump, as is Professor Eastland and uh, my other co-counsel. 
every single thing I did, I did in every other case that I represented some. Uh, and of course, the really shocking thing is no one of the Bar Association comes to my defense because they're suffering from severe cases of Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, it's pathetic uh, that Trump and Trump's people have trouble getting lawyers because they try to intimidate people like me and Professor Eastman. And I, I would like to say to other lawyers, don't get intimidated. They don't intimidate me. They're a bunch of damn bullies. And read my book, Leadership. I have a chapter saying, stand up to bullies. And uh, just stand up to them and they'll, 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 they'll shrink, believe me. America's Mayor Rudy Giuliani joining us today live on Newsline. Appreciate your time, sir. It's good to see you. You do a good job. Thank you. Much appreciated.